Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the FreeBSD 12.2 as a guest inside of uh, Beehive, VM Beehive. So in order to start, we need to go to freebsd.org, then go to download FreeBSD. And we need, according to your architecture, you can download the right uh, uh, installer image. I'll go to AMD64, that's for 64 bit ISO files. And now, um, let's say I'll go with this one, with disk one. Right click and copy link. Uh, open terminal. Make sure you root and type. VM ISO and then just the link to your FreeBSD 12.2 ISO file and wait until it's downloaded. After ISO file is downloaded, uh, you should copy template file from user. So you do CP user local share examples VM Beehive and then there is default dot conf so we'll copy this one to z root vm dot templates and then free bsd 12.12 let's combine it like this 12 dot conf now open this file set how much uh, CPU cores you want to allow it to use, let's say 8, and for RAM, we'll allow it 16 gigs, and that's it basically, nothing else is required. So next thing we want to do, we will create the virtual machine, so I can just say VM create from template file FreeBSD12 to how large 100 gigs and what's going to be name freebsd 12-2 okay right now uh let's just see which iso files we have all right so i can say vm install f where we want where i want this to be installed in freebsd-12-2 which iso file this one Voila, we're in bootloader of FreeBSD. Now it's gonna boot to a... Yes, with the 100. Install. Type your host name. It will be FreeBSD 12-12-2. Okay. I need base, port, source, okay. Configure network, yes, yes, please. Just make sure you don't press the delete button. That's really important. If you press the delete button, you'll be in trouble. So you stick to backspace if you really need to. Okay. Select the mirror. Uh, I'll use different mirror in my case. Uh, I found that the, this default German one is really fast. It was fast before, so this is guided uh, ZF, uh, let's say, uh, auto ZFS, yes. Swap size, zero. Uh, GPT BIOS, yes, encrypt, no, four, zero, three scan, stripe disks, let's select stripe, select this disk, allowed, and proceed with install, yes. Uh, last chance, are you sure you want to delete? Yes. And now you just wait until FreeBSD gets installed and it'll download uh, files and install them if they're missing. We should use the type the password for root. All right, select your region. I'll say UTC just, yes. Set date, skip, set time, skip. Uh, which services I want to run, SSHD, yes, NTP update, yes, NTPD, yes, PowerD, yes, and that's it. 
and I'll say just clean TMP file system on start system startup. Okay. Would you like to add users to install system now? Yes. Username, I'll use mdesic. You can use whatever you want. Default login group, yes. I invite mdesic to other groups, yes. Will. Login class default, sh default, home directory that one, home directory permissions empty, use password base, use empty password, use random, enter password. Lockout account, no. Is this correct? Yes. Yeah. Add another user, no. Apply configuration and exit, yes. So right now we are fine. We just successfully installed the FreeBSD. It's going to reboot. It should reboot right now into freshly installed FreeBSD in the virtual machine. So this is FreeBSD 12.2. All right, let's go with mtasic. Inside of the virtual machine, IP address that we got is this one. So if I type SSH mtasic, then this, yes. And type password, I should be in the great. That worked. I should be root when I do this, so. And then pkj update yes all right that would be it uh i demonstrated how you can install the freebsd 12.2 uh, thank you so much for watching this series and see you in my next video goodbye